Hello. If you're watching this video, bulk listing with a CSV file part two image hosting that I made uh, in January of 2022, uh, I need to tell you that Amazon has changed their their interface a little bit. So everything is still valid and similar, but just where you check off something is different. So here is the new way that it works. And a couple of people have asked me about this and I'm sorry I did not clear it up earlier. I didn't quite realize what they had done, but this is the story. So now the sort of main whatever page of Amazon S3 looks like this at the moment. It will probably change again. You go to create a bucket and you give your bucket a name. Um, you just leave the region what it's chosen for you and then you can go down here and you want to change object ownership to ACLs enabled. ACL stands for access control lists and it has to do with the permissions that you can grant your bucket, like who can get into your bucket. <laughs> um, you can leave this the same and then come down here, block public access settings. You want to uncheck this, which will uncheck all the subsections, which is fine. And then down here, it asks you to make sure you're okay with that, which you are, so check that. Everything else on this page, you can just leave as is and hit create bucket. And now you'll see access objects can be public, so that is possible. And you'll see if you upload something to it, then um, we should go back to where we were before and how it works. So um, if I upload it's like some random picture I have on my desktop, we can uh, look at that. So yes, th that's what I want. And we can upload and upload succeeded. So close. And then we'll see this here is my thing I just uploaded. And if we go to actions and scroll all the way down, you'll see make public using ACL is now available. And that is exactly how it used to be in the earlier video. So you can do that and you can make it public. And now your object is public. We um, see that we've successfully edited public access. So close that. And then when you click into this to get info, this URL will let you see the image if you click on it, which is just randomness here. And also if you copy this, this should be the URL that you um, need as per the original video. There are a few other ways to do this, but I think this is the closest to how it used to be and is easy overall. And of course, if you've uploaded like, you know, 300 things, you can select them all and do the same thing to edit their access and you'll be good to go. Okay, hopefully that is helpful. If not, please um, feel free to ask me more questions. I'll see what I can do. And thank you and take care.